Today we're talking about turtles. This is the new Chantecaille Spring Collection. Chantecaille was kind enough to send me the two new palettes and all four lip sheiks, which I'll talk about in a minute. I first want to mention this. It's the Spring 2024 collection, but it's the Sea Turtle Collection. And there's a little um, pamphlet that comes with this that they sent me. And I have to tell you, the turtles, I mean, I, I, I love the little turtles. It made me feel, I, I just immediately was like, oh my goodness, the poor turtles. Uh, so funds raised from the sales of Chantecaille's Sea Turtle Collection will support Amazon Conservation Team and their Ancestral Tide Initiative, which joins leaders from indigenous coastal communities from Colombia and Panama up to Mexico and Costa Rica to draw on both native knowledge and Western science to help protect sea turtles and the health of marine and coastal ecosystems. Uh, the initiative provides local sea turtle protection and management efforts such as nesting site restoration and le uh, relocation and turtle tagging with GPS transmission to find hotspots for their conservation. I don't know if you guys have ever seen when the turtles go on the beach and you know lay their eggs and then go back out to the sea and then the turtles hatch. However, I don't even know how long afterwards with all the baby little turtles hatch and they're just on their own and they just go swimming into the sea. Um, I grew up going to the Cape every summer and I was very lucky to be able to do that. Of course, we don't have turtles, but the point is I feel very, I feel very connected to the ocean. Um, if I had the ability, I would live on the ocean and it's not just a matter of, of money. It's a matter, it we, I mean, it would be difficult because I need to be at, near an airport and I, you know, I, there's lots of things, but um, yeah, if I could, I would absolutely live right on, like right on the water, just walk out to the sand kind of thing. Um, I feel better when I'm by, by the ocean. I love the ocean. The strange thing about me, I guess, I don't know if it's strange, the unusual thing about me, I don't like warm beach locations. So I'm not like a tropical person. Like I, I've been to Hawaii a couple times again, really fortunate to go. It was absolutely beautiful. I was there for my honeymoon. Stunning, absolutely stunning. But it's just, I don't, I don't tan. I don't sit in the sun. It's just, I don't, it's not something I do. So I like, <laughs> I like colder. I know. I like colder beaches. So I love Maine. I love Cape Cod, Carmel, like all those places that are a little cooler. Um, I just, you know, I love cold weather, first of all, which again, I know not, not everybody's cup of tea. So, you know, the turtles and, and the ocean really does for me anyway, speak to me. So I was thrilled to see this particular, um, this particular initiative being supported. Um, so I just, I, I love that. And I know I've heard people say things like, well, the amount of money that you give is not that much and et cetera. And that's, that's fine. Everyone has the right to their own opinion. But I would also say, you know, every little bit does help and how much you give, I don't judge people on that. I, I mean, I, I, you know, we all have our ideas of where we want to put our money and time and all those things. Um, I do a lot for animal rights. Some people, you know, put their money or charity into, some people like donate to, there's, there's lots of places, right? Um, so for me, it's just a matter of, I, I appreciate anyone doing any of it. So even, even a little, it means to me a great deal. So I, I think it's, a, I think it's a good thing. Um, so I will tag, it's the Amazon conservation team. Um, if I put this up on, uh, you know, Instagram, or TikTok, all that good stuff. So a couple of things. I have the warm palette on and I did a video with a cool palette, uh, a look with a cool palette so you can see it. So we'll, you'll see both of them. I filmed this look too, so don't worry. Everything on my face is Chantecaille. So that, that's, you know, that was easy. I have a lot of Chantecaille. And the lip sheiks, I do have all four. I will put all four on my lips, but I do have the um, uh, swatches. I put them up on Instagram as well, including the swatches of these. So let's start with the palettes and then we'll go to lip cheeks and I'll put them all on and you can take a look. Okay, so the warm one, I'm calling it the warm one. It's, uh, well, it's actually called the warm one. So that worked out well. I probably knew that and just like, it, it seeped into my brain at some point. Um, so this is, this is the Sea Turtle Eyeshadow Trio in Warm. Now, I'm sure you guessed, there's some green in here. Uh, I'll put up the swatches in just one second. So those are the three shades. 
let the camera adjust. And here are the swatches of the warm quad. Warm trio, I should say. I'm so sorry. I am so used to saying quad at this point. And then we have, and I'll, don't you worry, I'll show you the packaging in a second, but I want to focus on the colors for a sec. This is the cool. And I'll put up the swatches. Now, if you know, if you've watched me before, and if you haven't watched me before, hi, my name is Jennifer. I used to be a makeup artist for Chanel half a lifetime ago. Here on my channel, I do all things luxury, beauty, fashion. It runs the gamut, and I try to post uh, videos two to three times a week. So, if you've watched me before, you know which one I'm. You know which one I was drawn to. The one I have on. Uh, it's the green one. Anything with green in it, I am immediately there. I'm just like, oh, it's got green in it. More than likely, I will even. Buy. I'm like, I will buy it, Jennifer. You know what? It's, it's green. It's fine. I'll get it. So I love green. Uh, I love blues too, but I, I love green. So yes, I was immediately drawn to that one. It's not a surprise. It's the one that I like more. Doesn't get it out in the open right now. Um, but let me talk about the packaging for a second. Now, depending on the kind of person you are, you're either going to love this packaging or you're going to think it's cheesy. I happen to love the packaging. But again, I love turtles. I don't know why. I think it's I think it's growing up on the Cape. Like I love sea life. So I really like the packaging. I think the turtles are adorable. I like the fact that you've got, you know, the green, it's very uh, reflective, and then the gold turtle. And then you have this like gold with the blue turtle. I think it's just really pretty. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest, like I like it. A lot of times the designs I tend to like are more simplistic in nature, like the more ornate it gets sometimes for me is a little too much. Don't get me wrong, I like well done packaging. I like hefty packaging, all those things. These are not hefty, okay? So they are more plasticky, but I really do like, I just wanna be honest, my personal opinion is I like the, I like the turtles. Um, okay, now let's talk about what's in them. Let's go to the Cool Pout. Um, so, this is the Cool Palette again, before we put up the video. All right, so let's put the video up. So what I was looking at when I tried to do this palette is I was like, okay, these shades aren't, first of all, these are, these are spring palettes. So it's not at all surprising that a lot of the color stories that we're gonna see are, you know, lighter color stories. And I don't mean, I don't mean they're not pigmented. I mean, they're just lighter color stories. They're spring, quote, spring colors, which tend to be pinks and purples and light greens and whites and those types of stuff. That's spring. It's, look, I, I've always been the person to say, um, you know, you, you wear what you like. You don't have, you can wear heavy makeup um, with dark colors in the spring and pinks and purples <laughs> in December. You do you. Plus, there's half of the world that, uh, has it, has it reversed. So wear what you like, do what you like. But for the traditional makeup market, uh, especially in the US and North America, um, you get this spring look and you get this winter look. This is kind of how it's gone. And so these colors do fit that, you know, grouping, like they're, they're springish colors. However, and now we'll put the video up, um, the purple and the, the whatever goldish color in here, they are, they are, um, they're not particularly pigmented. They are almost like shimmery shades, but they're, they're not particularly pigmented and they're very powdery. Um, so I was like, all right, I'll start with the deeper shade, the brownish shade. Now, when I put that on my eye, that's actually a nice transition shade for, for someone with my coloring. I think it actually is a really good transition shade. It's a little bit cool. It's brown. Uh, it's almost like a mushroom. I think that's a good shade for me. And that's something I could see me using actually in like for other looks with other palettes. Sometimes it's hard to find a good transition shade that isn't too sparkly or too shimmery. You know, you just want something a little bit like creamy and like a mattish kind of shade, but not too matte, which is what this one is. And I do like that shade. That deepest shade I like. Then I went over it with the purple and tried to get sort of like an intensity with the purple. You kind of get it a little. The pur purples are hard to do. Um, and then I took the, the goldish shade and put it on the eyelid. The end look is actually quite pretty. And I think if I took a purple liner 
from uh, Chanticleer, like a Violet Damask or one of the other, uh, even Slate or something, to deepen up the eye, you know, like the line around the eye, I think you could get a really nice contrast. But I have to say, overall, for the price of this palette, this is not something I would pick up. I think it's okay. I don't, I don't love it. Um, and, that, and and here is the the honest Jennifer. Yes, this was gifted to me. I greatly appreciate Chantikai gifting it to me. But Chantikai is well aware that I give my opinions on all of these things, and so is every other brand. <laughs> I'm very honest. The only thing I have here, frankly, is my reputation. So you guys have to know you trust me. Uh, you have to. You guys have to know that you can trust me. Um, so even if something's gifted to me, if I don't like it, I'm gonna tell you. But I do like the the dark, the deepest shade. I really like that one. I think that one somehow is like it's different. It's like a different formula, and I'll show you what I mean. So if you look at the palette, can you see the difference in how they they look now? These have like almost not divots, but they're they look like they wore weird. This one looks fine. So. These are like shimmery, and this one's more like just a creamy matte. It's, it's not really a matte, it's like a satin. It's between a matte and a satin. Um, and it's a really good shade. And I, like I said, I really like this one. Um, it's a good transition shade. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. And I think for people who are my skin tone, I think it's gonna be great. It's like a purplish, it's like a purple, it's it's not brown. It's not purple. It's like mushroom. It's it's nice. It's really good. It would actually be a great contour shade for me. Um, but the other shades in here, I just feel they're they're super powdery. They have this. They're wearing in a weird way. I don't. I'm not sure why. Um, and they just. It doesn't really show up. Do you see what I mean? Like this is the light purple. It's there, but. Mm, you know, I think maybe if you took this shade and put this over it, that might be a really nice look. And I'll try that. I'll play with that. But I have to say, like, just for me, this is not, I, I would not pick this up. The packaging is lovely, but I the, the colors inside, I'm kind of like, mm, they're okay. Um, the look I ended up with was very pretty, like I said, but for the, the price that you're paying, yes, I love the fact that they're giving back to um, an initiative like this one. And I think that's great, but I still feel like yeah, I still have to love the, the product. And this one I don't. The warm one though is different. Um, the warm one, the shades are much more pigmented. Um, the green, the peachy, and the, I think it's like a gold. I personally would have preferred um, these to be, this to be like a very deep green, a light green, and then the gold. That's just me though, because I love green. Not everybody else does, I get that. Um, but you can see on my eyes, it's a really pretty, it's a pretty look. It's very nice. It's not super deep. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that this is a super pigmented palette because it's not, um, but it's a really nice palette. And for any of you out there who want something more, you know, lighter, doesn't, doesn't want super impactful, um, is the kind of person who likes a, I would go along with like a Westman Atelier, Keir Weiss, uh, Jones Road, that type of thing. It's a soft, pretty look. But I really like this one. I would wear this one, obviously. Um, I'm a green person. I'm a warm toned person when it comes to like greens. I don't really like cool greens. I like warm greens. Again, this could be preference. It could just be that the purple one I'm kind of like, eh. But I do think with the, the cool one, the two shades in there just aren't pigmented enough for me. This one, they're, they're all pigmented. I feel like, you know, again, um, put up the swatches for the, the the cool one versus the warm one. I think you can see in the cool one, the shades are more sparkly shades, almost like topper shades. Whereas the warm one, it seems like they're all satins. So I think that might be the difference. I am not against a topper shade. I don't mind if there's one topper shade in a, in a, in a palette, but two in a three, in a trio. Eh. Now, I don't think that purple one was meant to be. I think it's supposed to be like a satiny shade, but it just doesn't have enough oomph. You know what I mean? For me. Again, personal. But that one I'd be like, meh. But the warm one I do like. Um, so, you know, when there's sales coming, uh, and Shantikai has, and I always talk about it, Shantikai has sales in the summer, 20% off sales and more. So, um, you know, if it's a little out of your price range, but you really like the color story and you love the packaging or you want to give back to, to the, um, the Sea Turtle Initiative, again, there'll be chances for the sale. Now, the lip cheeks are some of my favorites. Now, I know, again, there's a lot of people who are like, well, 
lip sheets, you know, they wear off. Yes, they absolutely do wear off. Um, here's the, here's the, the swatches. Yeah, these aren't, these aren't long lasting lipsticks guys. And, and nobody has ever said they are. These are glossing plumpy lipsticks, plumping, not plumpy, plumping lipsticks infused with hyaluronic acid, uh, created to support, um, ancestral tides and their conservation work, protecting turtles and their ecosystems. So that's what's on the, the box. So, um, if you see the packaging, you've got the, the blue and green and the gold and green. I, I really like the colors. These are just my colors. I think I just like that. Um, but yeah, the, these, you know, the lip sheets are, are, I've always liked them. I've talked about them ad nauseum. I know you guys know what they are. And I like this formula a lot. I, I have like practically every color. The thing is though, again, if you're somebody who wants a long lasting like li lipstick um, or a matte, this is absolutely not what you want. Do not put your money here because you will be disappointed. Um, they last, you know, I mean, what does a glossy lip last? Not that long, definitely not through a coffee. Um, there is a sort of stain left behind a little bit, not a bad stain, but like a little bit of color. What they do though is moisturize your lips. The hyaluronic acid in this makes them feel very comfortable. Your lips feel very comfortable. I have very dry lips. So maybe that's one of the reasons I like this type of formula so much. And so I, these are what I carry. I have these and I, I you know, I, there's a couple other lipsticks that I, that I use generally, but I am a balmy, lip glossy, lip oil. That's who I am. Do they wear off? Yes. <laughs> Just want to say it again. Uh, so when people ask me like, how long do they last? Not that long. This is the nature of the product. Um, all right. So, um, let's do the, let's do the ginger lily first. I think that's the lightest, the, the ginger lily, um, and the rosy Rosa Rosa It's R O S E A. I almost called it rosacea when I looked at it. I was like, what an odd name for <laughs> love shake. Uh, the, the Rosa is at the bottom and then the ginger lily is the second one from the bottom. And that one I think is the lightest. It's the warmest, um, the warmest light shade. Um, there are a couple products that I have seen lately that are glossy and seem to continue, like keep their glossiness. Um, and that's the house lab one. And I am tempted to try it because I have heard that they stay relatively glossy and they don't transfer. I don't know how that's physically possible, but I want to try them. So if you guys have tried them, let me know. All right, let's try it. So this is the ginger lily. And like I said, this is the lightest warm shade. I will be doing a video with all my lip cheeks. It's coming. There's a lot of them. Okay, then let's do the Rosia or whatever it is, uh, which is the deepest warm shade. In between, I just wanna show you, you see the kind of stain that's left? See how my lips look deeper than they are? That's what I'm talking about. There is like a stain that's left on your lips, but it's not, drastic. It's just a light one. Okay. Back to my regular colored lips. Um, so let's do the Rosia or I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. Here we go. First of all, I just want to mention everything goes pink on me. So you'll notice that this shade Rosia looks warmer in this watch. It always does, which is what I would say about, you know, arm swatches versus lip swatches. Arm swatches are incredibly helpful, no doubt, but lip swatches, which is why every once in a while I will do a video where I will do all my, you know, lip sticks of a particular type on my lips. This is why. It looks very different than it does on my arm. My lips, the pigment in my lips or something about whatever it is, uh, turns things pinker. So I always find that I like a warmer lipstick um, because it's going to draw pink no matter what I do. So it's why I generally don't like pink lipsticks because it looks even pinker on me most of the time. But this is a really pretty color. I like the Rosia. Um, the Ginger Lily is not really my color. It's pretty, but it's not really my color. The Rosia though, I do like. Okay, back to my regular colored lips. Um, so let's do, this is Coral Vine. If you like a pink, like a pinky pink pink, 
Again, not my favorite shade, but it is very pretty. Um, on my arm, it's warmer. Pinker on my lips. This one is called Starflower, and this is one that I might actually get a second one of. I I could see me wearing this a lot and get and going through one of them. Um, it's a good peaky brown, which you know I love. Uh, again, on my arm, it looks um, warmer than on my lips. This one I is like the perfect kind of nude shade for me. Like I just I the minute I I like. The minute I got the, the package from Shantakai, I opened it up, I was like, ooh, how pretty. Uh, tried things on, tried on the sunflower and used it actually a couple times for Zoom calls this week uh, because I just, I knew like immediately like, oh, I love that color. So yeah, I've already used it. <laughs> I've already used quite a bit of it compared to the other ones where I was like, this will be the first time I use the one. Uh, this will be the second time I use the one on the channel. So. Yeah, I love this shade. It's the sunflower shade, the starflower shade is like, um, so yeah, I, I will definitely buy another one. Cause I just, I, it's a really, it's the kind of color I'll throw on my purse and wear all the time. I know how these work. There's a couple of shades already in, in the lipstick set. I've gone through like three or four of them. Because again, you have to keep reapplying them. I mean, I want to be just, again, totally honest. These aren't things that stay. I reapply these a lot and it does leave, it does leave, you know, that nice sort of stain. And it does leave my lips moisturized, but if you want the glossy look, you have to keep reapplying it. It's just, you know, the nature uh, of the product. So, but yeah, I really like this one. This one's, this one's really good. So overall, what do I think of the collection? I like the packaging. Uh, it's not going to be for everybody. Um, you know, I like the turtles. That's me. I just like the turtles. And I know this is going to sound a little weird, but I like that they're off center. Like they're not in the middle of the palette. They're a little off center. And I, for some reason, like that. I don't know, something about it, something about it appeals to me. Uh, so I like that. The colors I really like, like this, this combination, I love this combination, the blue with like the gold. That's like one of my favorite combinations. Like I love blue and gold together. I just think that's really nice. Um, so yeah, I love, I love these. Like I love this, these kind of colors. These are, these are my kind of colors. And I realized as I'm finishing this video up that I didn't show you the green, the green one that I have on my eyes right now. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get into that. <laughs> I don't know how I just like totally bypassed that. Anyway, um, okay. So here's the, here's me applying the look that I have on right now. So first I took the, um, the peachy shade, put that in the trans transition, made it sort of like a, a nice sort of base for the rest of the color. I took the lightest shade, the gold shade, put that on the eyelid and just sort of blended those two things together. And then I went ham with the green, uh, used it in the outer corner, used it into the crease, uh, lined my eyes with it. And then I lined my eyes with Olive Brocade, um, a liner from Chantecaille, which is one of my favorite liners of all time. Love that liner. It's just absolutely fabulous. Um, it's like the prettiest green ever. If you're looking for a really good green, that one is, and this stuff stays on forever. It's hard to even get off sometimes, which is not a bad thing. It's just like you have, it's not going to just come off by the end of the day. You need to, you need to get a remover and remove it. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this look. I think it's really, really pretty. So, you know, the green one, when I, when I saw the two of them, I was like, yeah, definitely want the green. Uh, I don't know how I didn't show you that video earlier in this video. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I think I got excited about the, I think I got excited about the lip shakes. So overall, um, I, you know, I'm a little torn on this one because I really don't like the cool one. Like I don't think the pigment's there. Um, so for folks who don't like greens or don't like a warm palette, I feel like this one's not for you because I really like the green one. But the cool one I just think is like, Meh. Um, so that, that's, you know, that's, that's the, the thing there. Um, this lip color, Starflower, I love this. So between the Starflower and the green warm palette, that to me is a home run. Like absolutely love that. I think it's beautiful. The cool palette I don't think is worth picking up in my opinion. Again, just my, my two cents. The other colors in the lip cheek, I like the Rosia and the other two, the Ginger Lily, and the coral vine, I think they're too pink for me. 
again, this is, you know, subjective. Uh, but maybe, you know, if you're somebody who really wants pink, those would be the two that I would go for. So the lip cheeks, I've talked about these a million times. I really like the formula. I, I think they're really good. They're really comfortable. They're easy to wear. There's another thing about these is they're not, they are pigmented, don't get me wrong, but they're not like, it, they're not a, they're not a velvet lipstick or a matte lipstick or a long lasting lipstick. So they're not super deep. So, you know, you could use any of these four shades probably and it would go with a warmer cool look, even though they are more cool leaning or more warm leaning. Uh, because there's a, you know, the nature of them is they're not super intense. That's kind of the thing about the lip cheeks. So I would say for me, if you're somebody who likes warm color stories and you like green, this one, I, I would say, yes, this is worth picking up. I really like this one. I would also say, though, Chantecaille is very expensive. Again, we're a luxury beauty channel here, guys. Luxury fashion beauty or uh, makeup. Uh, so, yeah, you know, it's it's expensive. Um, I do like the fact that they their the conservation cause is, is the Sea Turtle Collection and the Amazon Conservation Team. I think that's great, personally. That's, you know, something that I, I'm proud to support. Um, but I would still say a lot of times, like, these are things, and I, I say this about a lot of the collections, they do go on sale. There are 20% off sales. There are 30% off sales um, in the, the summers and then into the winters. It, I don't, yes, this is limited edition. Um, so I can't guarantee that they'll still be around. But for the last couple of years, most of this stuff has been around. There's been very few items that have been so limited in quantity that they've sold out and they haven't come back. There's been some, um, but for the most part, I think you're good waiting for the sales. Um, but again, if you're somebody who really loves like this color story, uh, the formula is really good. It's very creamy. It looks beautiful on the eye. That's that's all good in, in the warm one. And you and you know you love the lip, the lip cheeks and you wear them and this is your color. Yeah, I mean, personally, I, I'm, I'm gonna see how things look. I'm gonna talk to my essay about it. Um, if the star flower seems to be one that's like going away, selling out, I'll probably get another one of those because I really like that. Um, and I did plan on picking this up myself. I planned on purchasing it. So um, I'm incredibly grateful to, to Chantecaille for sending it to me, but I was gonna spend my money on it. I would not feel bad about spending the full price on the warm one and <laughs> on the star flower. I'd be very happy. Um, the cool one I probably wouldn't have picked up if it wasn't for the channel because it's just not really my color story. And again, the other, you know, even the other three shades, I probably wouldn't have picked up in the lip cheeks either because again, I'd be like, oh, star flower, I'd probably just buy two of those if it was just for me. So that's what I'm saying. I think that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon.